Item Number SCP-3130 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures Floor 31 of Site-88 is currently undergoing reconstruction. All personnel involved in Incident 3130-F are to be presumed missing until located. SCP-3130 is a 21-year-old female, previously known as SCP-3130 appears to be aware of its immediate surroundings, but it has been unable to respond to questioning from personnel since its initial recovery, nor able to understand where it is located, beyond its immediate surroundings. Although SCP-3130 can be interacted with, it is unable to connect any interactions with the personnel, instead attributing it to various other stimuli. When SCP-3130 wishes to accomplish a task or wholeheartedly believes itself to accomplish a task, two figures, SCP-3130-1, will manifest within a 30-meter radius around it. They will then carry out SCP-3130's task or belief, manipulating reality to do so. After accomplishing this, SCP-3130-1 will stand near SCP-3130 for 24 hours before disappearing. SCP-3130 does not interact with these figures, except in rare circumstances. Attempts to interact with SCP-3130-1 have failed. They do not interact with or acknowledge Foundation staff. Objects and personnel outside of SCP-3130's local reality manifestations at the time they occur will not be retroactively affected once they enter. SCP-3130 was recovered from Madison, Florida on April 12, 2015, by LMTF-352 Lamed, Stump Knockers. The house, found to be its previous living space, had been reconstructed into a haphazard botanical garden, unable to be used by anyone except itself. A statue is located in the middle of the garden. Family records indicate that SCP-3130's stepfather was reported missing the same day. It is likely that this statue used to be Mr. B SCP-3130 was moved into Foundation custody with little trouble. Addendum 3130-A Table of Recorded Manifestations Date Statement Manifestation June 21, 2015 Maybe I'll just rest here for a while. I feel tired. I'll lie on this bed. SCP-3130-1 manifested a bed by SCP-3130, hovering two inches off the ground. SCP-3130 went to lie on the bed, where it would remain for nearly all 492 days. This was the first instance of a manifestation in Foundation custody. June 24, 2015 I missed the garden. A botanical garden appeared in SCP-3130 cell. July 1, 2015 I think I miss him. I shouldn't, but I do. I wish he were here. SCP-3130-1 can be seen carrying a statue similar to the one found at SCP-3130's home, placing it by its bed. September 4, 2015 I feel gross. I want to be clean. I'm clean. SCP-3130-1 proceeded to watch SCP-3130 manifesting blinds around it for presumed privacy. September 5, 2015 It is unknown what SCP-3130 has said, as it had talked under its breath. SCP-3130-1 increased the size of its cell by 10%. This resulted in minor damage to Floor 31. See Incident 3130-D for more information. December 25, 2015 Merry Christmas, Mom. Here's a present for you. SCP-3130 proceeds to make motions as if it were presenting a present to a person. SCP-3130-1 manifests, but do not proceed to take any action. January 1, 2016 Happy New Year. Here's to us. SCP-3130 proceeds to make motions as if it were drinking from a bottle. SCP-3130-1 gave it two bottles of water which it then drank. February 6, 2016 I wish my friends didn't remember me. 
follow-up interviews with associates of SCP-3130 before containment revealed that they still remembered SCP-3130, and had mourned its death on April 12, 2015, after a funeral held by its grandmother. May 17, 2016 I haven't played a game in a while. Let's play a game. SCP-3130 and SCP-3130-1 proceeded to engage in numerous activities such as hopscotch, jump rope, and push-ups. This was the first instance where SCP-3130 directly acknowledged and interacted with SCP-3130-1. June 28, 2016 I don't like the look of this garden anymore. It's not the same. It's not my garden. It doesn't belong. SCP-3130's containment cell reverted back to its previous state, aside from its size increase. July 9, 2016 I don't think this is home. I want to go home again. SCP-3130-1 manifested and seemingly attempted to use their anomalous abilities to move SCP-3130 out of its containment cell. However, Due to the presence of a low-energy, portable Scranton Reality Anchor 50 meters away from SCP-3130 cell, the only result was SCP-3130 and its bed moving 4 meters to the right. September 15, 2016 I'm tired and want to stop. Just let me stop already. SCP-3130-1 manifest, but do not proceed to take any action. Incident 3130-F on October 20, 2016, alarms went off at Site-88. Personnel arriving discovered that a 50-meter radius located in Floor 51 had vanished, with no signs of debris or destruction. All personnel reporting to work in Floor 31 were found to be missing, and had been unable to be located. Personnel in unaffected areas of Floor 31 heard a loud exclamation from a voice matching SCP-3130 wishing to stop before alarms were triggered, and SCP-3130, along with most of Floor 31, had disappeared. As of May 20, 2017, SCP-3130, most of Floor 31, and the personnel located in said missing portion have still not been located. SCP-3130 has been reclassified to neutralized.